Just in the last hour, I finished a conference call with a group of Ferguson protesters who met with President Obama yesterday. The protesters laid out three main things they want the president to do moving forward. First off, they want him to limit the military equipment going to local police departments. Secondly, they say they want all officers across the country to wear body cameras. And finally, they want the president to reinvest more money to local communities outside of police departments. I pressed the organizers on their conversation with the president. Here's what they had to say. What we need to see now is him use the power of his position, the power of the highest office in the land to enact some real change. We have been on the ground making the changes that we can in our community, but these are high level changes that we need to see. These are systemic issues and we need systemic um, solutions for them. We need policy. We need the backing of our black president to say that this is a racial issue and that he stands behind us. In fact, the president has already adjusted to their proposals. He's pushing for a new policing plan calling for a $263 million package. It will include buying 50,000 body cams for officers around the country. The president is also forming a task force that will focus on police practices and how police can build trust with the public. When any part of the American family does not feel like it is being treated fairly, that's a problem for all of us. The White House wants recommendations within four months on how to reform several programs. His focus is on providing police with free military gear and requiring civilian review. 